ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, and any dogs, cats, gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, house rabbits, or any other pets that may be in the room with you whilst you're watching this video, hello and welcome to an absolutely giant Zara trial haul. It is the start of April and I have gone all out for the start of this month and I thought we would start the month off with a banger and we would start with an absolutely giant Zara haul because I normally do two Zara hauls a month and I still will be sticking to that this month but I thought it'd be a good way to start the month off with a giant Zara haul. Like I feel like that's what you guys deserve. I have even brought back, kind of brought back, the mug of choice for this video. This is not a mug, it's an absolutely giant TikTok shop fake Stanley Cup dupe but I feel like I'm going to need water in this video and I feel like I'm going to need a lot of it so hence why she is here. I'm going to keep myself hydrated, I'm going to try not to ramble, I'm going to try not to talk too quickly and I'm going to try and make this the best Zara haul that you've watched so far this month. I mean it could be the only Zara haul you've watched so far this month because we're only a couple of days in but if it still means that it's the best Zara haul you've watched so far this month I will take that. I will leave my Instagram and TikTok on screen here and also down below so you don't miss out on all that extra amazing content that I produce. It is just at Georgie I Clark for both of them and without me blabbering on anymore we're going to get straight on with the Zara haul. Everything will be linked down below. We're going to get on with it. I'm going to start off with this set which is not incredibly new in like it came out like last month I want to say and I did actually order it when it first came out and then Amazon just lost my Zara parcel and it never turned up so I kind of moved on and got over it but then I saw a girl a couple like weeks or so later I saw a girl wearing on TikTok and she styled it so nicely so I decided to order it and it's not a very typical me and my style piece but I thought we'd change it up this month we try something new and it's like a parachute cargo little two-piece now we know i love a zara two-piece it makes styling things a lot easier and considering that this is something i wouldn't normally wear it's not my normal style i love the fact that it's a two-piece so i don't have to work out how to style it so first up we have this which is undone and not buttoned up because i didn't button it back up after trying it on which is really annoying but it's just this like like what would you call this like the shell material parachute material little like blouse it's like a navy color i got this in an extra small to small and for reference I'm five for five and I'm a size six and it's just like this oversized cropped shirt type thing it's got these cargo pockets it buttons up down the middle and then it's got this like drawstring so you can like tighten it and I did show you in the trial clips it like done up just normally and then I like ten getting jumbled up on the words already I wore it mainly by like pulling this elastic in which then makes it tight and cropped which is how I preferred it so you can kind of alter it a little bit and then to go with it I got the matching like cargo trousers which again I got in an extra small to small um, and again they're like that shell material they just go down like this I feel like it's not showing up very well on camera because of the colour but it should hopefully show up better in the try on clips and it's got this like um, the cargo pockets and then again they've got like this drawstring elastic thing on the bottom as well um, super super elasticated on the way and it's just a cute little two piece and in the trial clips I did actually style it because I've decided to treat you guys this month and do like some styling of the items as well not just trying them on and I tried them on with this denim bag but I've just noticed that it's right at the bottom of my pile of clothes so we're gonna have to get onto that later on in the haul that's a little sneak peek like here's what's to come kind of thing because if I try and pull it out now all those clothes are gonna go absolutely everywhere next up we're gonna go back to Georgie Clark style but she's still a little bit out of her comfort zone with this item because she's beige she's lovely she's neutral but she is a denim maxi skirt which I have never worn before but they keep like doing the rounds on TikTok at the moment they seem to be quite like trendy and on like and on trend I keep saying the same thing they're quite popular at the moment these denim maxi skirts so I thought I would jump on the hype jump on the bandwagon and see what the hype is all about and give them a go and I have to say I am a fan I absolutely love this so this is like an accrue color denim maxi skirt now if you're a loyal regular frequent Zara haul watcher of mine you'll know that recently I'm finding a massive issue with Zara bottoms i.e trousers and this skirt with them being way too big for me around the waist now this is no different this is no different to that this skirt was way too big for me around the waist I did put a belt on it in the trial clips and oh my god I had to punch a new hole in that belt to be able to put this skirt tight enough to make it fit so in the trial clips it kind of looks like it fits me because of that belt but this is just way too big for me around the waist and I think I am 26 inches in my waist I think it's been a long time since I bought a pair of jeans from Topshop R.I.P may it rest in peace and the last time I had to know my waist measurement was to buy jeans from Topshop so so I'm not too sure exactly what my waist size is although I am sure that the lighting does keep changing because the sun keeps coming in and out from behind the clouds so if the lighting fluctuates a lot in this video I do sincerely apologize it is the sun and obviously I can't control that but yeah this was way too big for me around the waist but I still love it and like 
I kind of am tempted just to keep it anyway, even though it's way too big for me and just wear a belt with it because this looked so nice. So like I said, it's like this denim maxi skirt. It's got this massive split down the middle, which I kind of love. And then it's got this like stitching kind of like detailing down it with these like almost like stripes of stitching, if that makes sense. And I am genuinely obsessed with that outfit. Like it's not something I would normally wear, but I absolutely love it. And I absolutely love this skirt. I can kind of see what the hype is all about with these denim skirts. Anyway, I feel like we have talked and talking, that is definitely not a word. I feel like we have talked about her slash spoke about her for way too long now. And I do feel like I'm rambling. So I'm gonna try and move on and not wind you guys up. Next up, I have this piece again, wow. This is a very similar colour to the jumper that I'm wearing today. This is like a linen um, kind of style bandeau maxi dress. So it literally kind of just looks a bit like a tent. I'm not gonna lie, like look at that. It's just like a massive sheet of material, but um, it looks like this, so it sits like this. And then on the back, it's got this like elastication. So it kind of fits really nicely and it's not like super tight. And yeah, it's basically just this like long maxi dress. It kind of looks like a skirt, but I promise you it's a dress. And this gets 10 extra points to it because it actually has pockets in it. And a dress with pockets is honestly phenomenal. Like I feel like the only time you have dresses with pockets in is when you're like at primary school and like what am I going to need pockets for at primary school like I'm five years old I don't need pockets but as a 22 year old I feel like I do need pockets so thank god this dress does have them this I picked up in an extra small and I kind of wish they did this in white if they did this in white I would literally snap that up because I feel like this beigey color is a little bit yellowy kind of I don't know like looking at it now it kind of looks okay but I feel like it's got a slight yellow undertone to it, which I'm not the biggest lover of. I prefer it to be a bit more cool tone. So kind of I'm praying that Zara bring this out in white. Maybe even in black it would look so nice. But just for the summer, it's a really lovely lightweight floaty dress. Really easy to style and perfect for like British summertime and also perfect to wear on holiday, which I think is sometimes quite difficult to get with summer pieces. Like sometimes they're things you're only going to wear on holiday and sometimes they're only for UK summer. This I feel like is pretty versatile, so definitely like a good piece money-wise and like versatil versatility. Am I just making words up in the, that do not belong in the English dictionary today? Because I actually think I am. Talking of summer though and holidays, I got this little like, it's kind of a two-piece type thing. Um, and the model was wearing this with a black bikini and it just looked like chef's kiss. Like I don't know why I always say everything is chef's kiss, but it just is. So it's basically this kind of like beige brown and black kind of abstract print type thing this is the scarf which you could wear as a sarong you could wear it as a scarf you could wear it as whatever your heart desires however talented you are with wearing a scarf as multiple things depends how many ways you can wear it but it's just like this lightweight scarf it's got this kind of um what would I call you I'd call you a roughed that's again not a word a rough ruffled edge like a, sh a frayed hem to it um, and this was 22 99 which I do feel like is kind of pricey for a scarf um, but it's quite cute and obviously you don't just have to wear this as a bikini cover-up you could wear this like um, with normal clothes as well and I feel like when I'm editing back this video this lighting is really gonna get on my nerves and then I also got this bag to go with it which is like a beach bag kind of tote bag like oversized type thing and again it's the same pattern and oh my god this is the first time I've seen her and she's absolutely huge so this is a bag it actually has a zip on it as well which I feel like gets big points from me because normally beach bags are just like open there's no security I mean a zip isn't really that secure but you know what I mean you can like chuck this down and not have to worry about things falling out your bag because it's secure on the top and this would actually work quite well to like take as your hand luggage bag on the plane um because you can just kind of like shove it under the seat in front of you and not have to worry about things falling out and then also have it as your beach bag it kind of doubles up and then with the matching scarf obviously like black swimsuit black bikini this tied around the waist and then this is a beach bag I just think it would look so nice and I love the fact that it's a cord but it's not your normal cord of like a top and bottoms or something like it's actually a scarf and bag which you don't normally have together but it works really well if that makes sense and this is getting me incredibly excited for summer and the kind of beach wear outfits that I want to be wearing in the summer like this has started to fuel that fire I feel like I do need to hold off a little bit though like it is only April but I want to be walking around in bikinis and this walking around with an ice cream and a smoothie or something in some lovely warm country. Next up, I have another two piece. This is like a perfect springtime two piece because it's a linen material, it's white, but it is long sleeve. So it's not gonna be too cold. So for those days when it's like 
blue sky sunshine's outside sunshine's there's no plural sun when it's blue sky and sunshine outside but it's like still a little bit chilly this i feel like it's gonna be perfect because you can layer up underneath it and it's also long sleeve and i should just show you it so you know what i'm talking about it's basically this white linen blazer which is cropped but it's long sleeve and um, we could put a cute little bralette underneath this we could put a vest top underneath this this i got in an extra small it's got some shoulder pads to it and even just on its own it's just a lovely simple cropped white blazer and then you can get these matching linen trousers to go with it which again i got in an extra small again as per usual these were too big for me around the waist but we're not going to dwell on that and then they just go down like so they're just like a wide leg trouser again just on their own they're a lovely pair of white linen trousers so you could buy the set and obviously like split it up and wear these like two pieces separately and they're super versatile like a classic pair of white wide leg linen trousers is such a staple for me in the summertime so these are such a good piece to invest in um these were 35.99 which isn't too bad actually for a pair of linen and trousers um, and if you're going to wear them a lot which you easily could do because they're such like a versatile piece and it's pretty perfect and I feel like there was something else I was going to say about this set but it's completely gone out of my mind so I feel like we should probably just move on because at the moment I don't feel like I'm talking too quickly and I'm not rambling too much I th feel like we're doing quite well then I actually got another blazer this one's kind of a little bit cool and funky because it's got this like open back detail I got this in a size small this is what it looks like from the front so it's just like a single no is it no it's a double double button like blazer and then this is the back which I just thought was so cool like it's completely open it's got this like belted detail on the back so you can like adjust it make it shorter and longer and I just think this is so cool especially like for the springtime like you've kind of got like again business in the front part in the back but it's gonna be warm but not too warm again for those like sunny but chilly kind of days and this with like a cute little white bralette on underneath you could kind of see the bralette a little bit from the front see the back of the bralette but not too much then you've got like the main focus of like an open back and then with some jeans or something with those white linen trousers again kind of versatile like obviously you've got to bear in mind it is an open back but you could really use that to your advantage and I feel like a bare back can look so nice like you could even do this completely with like nothing underneath just like open back and then like some little shorts or something and like the open back detail I just just looks so nice there's something about like it I was gonna say a naked back but I feel like that sounds weird so I'm actually just gonna move on from that we're gonna move on to this dress which is so flattering I just kind of picked this up randomly it's just this like stripy dress and it's in that classic shape that Zara bring out every single year they do this dress in so many colors they bring it out every year like I said I feel like most girls own this dress in at least one color I actually have it in the black but I saw this stripy color and I feel like stripes are gonna be super like popular this spring and I just thought I'd give it a go and try it but oh my god I put this on and I forgot how flattering these dresses are like it literally fit me like a glove it fits so well it's such a lovely thick material as well and it is so flattering and the best bit about this is it's only 15 99 which I think deserves a round of applause because that is so good like I am really surprised that Zara haven't boosted this up to 25 99 but I'm actually not going to speak about that anymore because I don't want to talk that into the universe I want to keep this as an absolute bargain for us all um, and for reference I got this in a size small and yeah literally just the most flattering dress ever and then I did actually get some more stripes because apparently I decided to buy some more stripes <laughs> these are just a pair of stripey jeans which again super flattering these actually fit me for once and I got them in a size 6 and these were 35 99 and these were giving me kind of Matilda Jer vibes I feel like these are going to be quite a popular item that will sell out because I feel like those girls with really cool style will buy these and love these and make these look incredible like I feel like these have so much potential to look really cool um they're kind of just like a dark blue um, with white stripe which I absolutely love I kind of wish the blue was like a light blue because I personally prefer light blue and white to dark blue and white but then again the contrast of the dark with the white is quite nice and I do really love them like they're also really soft denim and I feel like they're just kind of like a cool piece like a little bit different to normal but like really trendy and actually whilst we're talking of stripes I'm gonna move on to this item which I unfortunately do not have a trial clip for because this was too small for me um I did actually get this from the Zara kids section and for like the first time ever Zara kids kids 13 to 14 doesn't work for me which I'm kind of gutted about but I thought I'd show these anyway just in case um anyone else wants to try them I'm a size six so maybe for a size four it might work or if you've got kids or something I thought I would just share them anyway and they're these blue and white denim like striped dungarees which I just thought was so cute and I'm kind of like I've never really been a fan of dungarees before I've never really worn them other than when I was like three years old like in my 
years of being able to choose what I wear and put on my body clothing wise I have never chosen to wear dungarees until this spring and summer I am going to be wearing dungarees so I thought I'd give these a try and they just look so cute and like I also loved the back detail like this little v detail and then they've got pockets in the back I thought these could be kind of fun with like a little white crop top and then undo like one of what would you even call these like braces or something undo that so it's kind of like open Sophia Tuxford wore something like that um with dungarees a couple years ago and it looked so cool so that is how I was thinking of wearing them but I could not get these past the bum I'm gonna be honest with you all they were not going further than that and now actually I can finally see the bag that I was going to talk to you about it is this one we're carrying on with the denim we're going into some sort of like denim section of the video and this is like a little denim structured bag which I think is so cool like it's solid it's kind of looks like a bubble but it's really really solid and then it opens up like this and then this is kind of just like let me move the tab out of the way this is what it looks like inside and it just like magnetically shuts which I kind of love um and it does also have this little chain that you can attach onto the side but personally I just quite like it as like a little kind of I can't open it now um it's like a little statement bag like this it is 45.99 though so I'm not gonna lie to you all she is expensive but it's such a cool statement bag and like I feel like people wear denim jeans so frequently and this with a pair of jeans would look so good so like although it's quite a statement and quite a cool bag you actually could quite, you actually could wear it quite a lot for like a double denim look and I wore it with the um blue outfit that I showed at the start and I thought it looked really cool together and I have to say the magnetic clasp on this is so strong because I really am struggling to open it but yeah I just thought it was super cool and this lighting however I know I keep going on about the lighting but I can literally see it changing in front of my eyes and it's doing my head in then I actually got another bag which I'm going to show you now because I just feel like it ties in well we can transition on well to it and it's so cool that I just feel like I need to show you and it is this bag which is like silver metallic mirrored it's super cool it's kind of reflecting the light as well can you see oh look there's a bit of pink wall in my office because I used to have a wardrobe there and the wardrobe recently moved and we discovered there was pink wall behind the wardrobe so I need to paint that pink wall so let's just go back over there to a beige wall there we go Anyway, this was $25.99 and I actually do this bag in quite a few colours. If you've seen my weekly vlog where I did like a come shop with me where you went shopping to Zara, we went shopping to H&M together. In that weekly vlog, I did actually show this when I went into Zara because they did it in a black and a brown, which I was absolutely obsessed with. Um, but I decided to order the silver because I've got an outfit in mind that I want to style this with but I haven't styled it with that outfit in the trial clips just because the items for the outfit haven't yet arrived so keep an eye out for my Instagram because it should be coming on there soon but yeah I just thought this bag was so cool like it's such a statement bag and with the outfit I've got in mind it's just gonna look so cool so like I said just bear with me on that one but yeah it's basically kind of like a triangle shaped bag it's got um this like long handle which you can move and then it opens up like this and then it's kind of looks like that inside and this was a 25.99 which I didn't think was too bad and the brown and the black looked so nice as well if you want to see them go and watch the weekly vlog but yeah they were so nice as well I was very very tempted by the brown one and I actually still am to be honest now back to clothing <laughs> um actually we'll go with these next before I move on to the next item I got these jeans now if you saw my last Zara haul I got these like heart-shaped heels which were the cutest thing ever and Zara came out with them as like their Valentine's Day collection and they also came out with these for Valentine's Day and I know we are now in April so it's a little bit late but they have still got them in stock on their website and they're these heart denim jeans now I had to pick these up in a size four because it's the only size they had in stock because they were quite popular and I just managed to order them when someone returned them um but they do actually they're a little bit tight for me to be honest but then again if I got the size six they'd probably be too big like I can't really win but they're these denim straight leg jeans with this like tufted sort of heart detail on it and the heart detail is kind of like frayed distressed so like for example here um it kind of makes a bit of a hole you know like when you've got ripped jeans it's like that but heart shaped so some of the kind of fraying is super frayed so you can kind of see your skin through and some of it isn't so you can't does that make sense i don't really know but it's this really cool heart detail and i just thought they were such a cool pair of jeans like again these are the type of thing i would see like someone in new york i could imagine wearing them or in london with a really cool outfit and then the type of person that you walk past and you just think oh my god i need to like visually memorize your outfit because it's so cool and like you honestly look amazing this is the kind of piece that i feel like i could see someone like that wearing and then that kind of transitions onto this piece because this again is something that i could envision if styled the right way could look so cool and it's one of those things you would see someone wearing and be like oh my god they look incredible and it's like one of those things that you would be like oh i wouldn't wear it myself but it looks really cool and it's these shorts and when i saw these on the website i kind of fell in love with them because 
they look like denim but they're not denim like these are just a normal like cotton material with this denim print on it and I just thought they were so cool they also do a couple other things like this I can't quite remember what they were but there were a few other items of clothing where they had like a denim print on them like this but they obviously weren't denim I can't quite remember though but I just thought these were so cool so that's what they look like on the front they've got like the zip and the button undone and then on the back they look like this and I got these in an extra small and when I tried them on they didn't look very flattering I think they're just a little bit too long and a bit of a weird length but after I filmed that try on clip I tried rolling them up and rolling them up made them look so much better because they just were more flattering for my body shape um although if you do roll them up you lose out like the bottom of the shorts which has this like distrayed look um distressed look to them but yeah i just thought these were so different i've never seen anything like this before and i thought they were really cool like these definitely could i don't really know what top to wear with them i did kind of struggle to style them but having said that i feel like if you did style them the right way these could look amazing like these could be such a cool pair of shorts i'm like they look like denim but they're not so they're going to be so comfy like they're such an elasticated waistband and they're nice and loose and flowy but I just really don't know what to wear them with. So if you have any suggestions, please do let me know down below because I really do kind of want to make them work because I do feel like they look really cool. And then I got this t-shirt, which is kind of ugly. It's basically this white t-shirt with these scribbles and drawings on and it kind of looks like a kid's drawing, which to be honest would be so cute if this was like your kid's drawings from preschool and you've got them made into a t-shirt for like Mother's Day. That would be adorable. However, I have no idea who's drawn these. It was probably some like 45 year old in the Zara workshop, not workshop, like design studio that did this. So the kind of cute fact is gone. And it also is kind of written in Spanish or something, I think. Although it does say Los Angeles 1984 there, but the rest is in some language that isn't English, which is a bit weird. But I mean, he's kind of cute. There's some horse looking dinosaur type thing, which I quite like. Oh, and also some girl with like, um, some astronaut looking thing and some of these are like embroidered on and some of them are just like printed on which I quite like I love that mixed textile and this reminds me of a t-shirt I bought a couple years ago from Zara which was like a collaboration with Toy Story and it was basically all the Toy Story characters on it um, and they were like drawn like this like it was kind of like kids drawings but Toy Story characters if you've been a subscriber for a while I think that was back in like 2020 maybe yeah it must have been 2020 so about three years ago so if you've been watching my Zara haul since then one a massive thank you and two you will know what top I'm talking about because I was obsessed with it um and then I got rid of it and I've regretted it ever since and I keep looking to see if someone is selling it on vintage so I can rebuy it and they are not and this just kind of reminded me of that but it's just not quite the same it's not as cool as the Toy Story one but it's still quite a cool idea and I got this in an extra large because I wanted it to be big and oversized to wear it as a t-shirt dress and it does actually kind of like work sizing wise for that and I do think it's kind of cool to be fair it's a little bit different but I just kind of wish this was in English because I don't really understand what it's saying and like I could be walking around with this top on and no idea what it says and it might translate to something that I don't want to be walking around wearing do you know what I mean so I'm not really too sure but I tried to get it to see if it would fix the hole in my heart for that Toy Story t-shirt and it just doesn't quite cut it but that is the last item for this haul so that is everything I hope you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already I'll have another Zara haul coming in a couple of weeks time so make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you at some point soon in another video bye